Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is showing you how to decorate your patio using Poundland products. I am so excited to do this video because I have been to so many different garden centers and literally every single one I have seen lovely planters, but they have all been so expensive. So I set myself a little challenge to see if I could make my patio look amazing on a budget. So what I thought I would do is show you my little haul that I have just done in Poundland and then I'm gonna show you how I am using them to furnish my outdoor space. Obviously, I couldn't buy plants and soil and things like that from Poundland, so I have gone to the garden center for those things. And before we get started, I thought I would just show you that I bought two lots of spray paint from Wilkinson's. They were four pounds 50 each. This is kind of like a gray, cream and this is like a sage green color so i am going to be using these pots of spray paint to like decorate some of the plants that i have bought from the pound shop but i will probably have loads of this left so i will use these on other diy projects too so i don't feel like this is a massive splurge plus the wilkinson's um spray paint is really really good and it's only four pounds fifty whereas if you go into other hardware shops you will find spray paint for like nine ten pounds so it was quite a low budget items to buy. Right, so let's get on with my haul. I'll show you what I bought. So the first thing I got was this cute little wooden um, bird house thing. You hang it from a tree. Is that what it's called? Bird house thing? You hang it from a tree and it's actually really quite large for one pound. So I need to buy some bird seed. They didn't have that in the pound shop and I'm just gonna put it in here and hopefully we will have a little family of birds coming into our home and making this their home. Next up, I bought this sign that says homegrown tastes better because when I went to the garden center, I bought some herbs because in one area of our um, patio, we have some space to put some extra like soil in there and to have our own little herb garden. So I wanted to hang this sign above that. I bought some gloves because, you know, they're gonna be needed when I start planting all my things. Right, so next up I bought this plant pot little kind of stand. I thought either this could go on our table or it could go down on the floor to add a bit of height to one of the planters that I have bought. So that will just kind of be a decide where it's gonna go at the time. I didn't have a vision for this when I bought it. I just thought it was really good. It's um, a wire, um, plant sort of stand and for a pound I thought that was really really reasonable I got these two little tea light holders and they have like raised bumps all over them and they can also get hung up as well I am just going to put them on one of my tables outside I also bought this really pretty little candle it's actually not very like deep the candle the candle goes up to about there but what I thought is I might put a tea light in there and just like the tea light every time so I don't actually burn the candle and it comes in this like bashed copper dish. You guys would have seen from previous Poundland hauls that I have bought these little solar lights before. So when I went in there today, I just bought another three. Um, they kind of catch the sunlight there and then at night they light up. So I'm just gonna put them on a string on my fence panels just so at night time when they come on, it'll make my garden look really pretty. Right, lastly, I got some planters. I got one big one in gray, but this is what I'm actually gonna spray paint. And then this, so this one was a pound, and then with these smaller ones, I got two for one pound. So obviously these are like a terracotta kind of color, and this is not going to go in my 50 shades of gray house. So I do need to spray paint these again. Right, so let's get straight on it. I'm gonna show you how I decorate my patio on a budget. So as you can see, these are really nice planters, but we've just literally neglected them. And down here is the area that I was telling you about where we want to put our herb garden. And then I'll put that little sign up here somewhere. And I'll just obviously remove that umbrella. Over here, our rattan sofas have just gone in whatever which way they can, so they look really messy. And then if we move over here, we have got our dining table, but it just needs a really, really good scrub. And then over here just needs a whole general tidy. I mean, we've got shoes here, we've got like, scooters they need to be put away we just need to like sort the whole place out and make it look a little bit nicer those are some of the string lights i've already put up so i'm just going to put some more of them up this side and the other side as well
Patio revamp and I am so pleased with the outcome. Most of the stuff I've used is from the pound shop, but obviously some of the bits like our cushions are all things that I had in my house before. So it just shows how easy it is to combine pound shop stuff with your own things as well. Thank you so much for watching guys and I'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.